New at 10 on NBC 26. We've got some good news tonight for Darboy's Charlie Canute. After two months, he's out of the hospital. His mother, Tricia, tells us he was released Friday and is now at the Ronald McDonald House in Minnesota. Charlie suffers from a rare skin disease called EB and recently underwent a second stem cell transplant. NBC 26's Heather Burks is live at 10 with the story. Trisha Knuth tells us Charlie is the first child with EB to recover from a second stem cell transplant. She says one child died from an infection while another couldn't accept the new cells, which makes Charlie's story a miracle. What do you think of the supercells? Six-year-old Charlie Knuth's face tells his story. Be careful. But now, a smile. I think it's going to be onward and upward. You know, he's made it this far, and to believe that he, that he made it through this is more than I could ever imagine. Happiness also beams off Charlie's mother, Tricia. After spending two months in a Minnesota hospital and a painful second stem cell transplant, Charlie has been released. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's extraordinarily exciting because Charlie is the first child with EB who's ever done this. Charlie is recovering at the Ronald McDonald House in Minnesota. Right now we are sitting at the table actually making crafts. So he's a lot happier. He still gets checkups every day to make sure his new cells are growing. It's a very uh, big step in the right direction. His stomach is finally getting better to the point where he can actually tolerate um, his tube feeding. Trisha says when she looks in Charlie's face, she sees a miracle. If anybody can make it through this, my gosh, he's got, he's got places to go. He's going to do well. Tricia says Charlie has to stay at the Ronald McDonald House for another two months so doctors can continue to monitor his progress. They hope to be back home in Darboy by October. Heather Burke, NBC 26. Thanks, Heather. Keep fighting, Charlie. You can follow Charlie's condition by reading Tricia Canoe's online journal. Just go to NBC26.com. All you have to do is click on links.